Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, July the 21st. It's the ninth week after Pentecost and week three in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 59, Joshua chapter 9, verse 3 to 21. Please join me in singing verse 5 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure and Obese. Forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Hallelujah. Psalm 59, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Deliver me from the evildoer, and save me from the violent and the bloodthirsty, for they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for any offense or sin of mine, O God. They rush and prepare themselves for battle, for no guilt of mine. Awake and defend me, come and see. O Most High God of hosts, O God of Israel, rouse yourself and help me. Punish the heathen. Show no mercy to the wicked. They return at evening. They snarl and growl like dogs and roam about the city. See how they boast. Taunts are on their lips. They say, who will hear? But you shall laugh at them. You shall laugh them to scorn. Because of your wrath, I wait on you. For you, O God, are my defense. You are the God that loves me. You shall let me triumph over my enemies. Kill them, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power, and bring them down, O God, our shield. Let them be caught in their pride for the sins of their mouths and the words of their lips, for their cursing and their lying. Consume them in your wrath, that they may be no more, and let them know that you rule in Jacob to the ends of the earth. And in the evening they return, they snarl and growl like hungry dogs and roam about the city. They wander up and down seeking meat and complain and howl if they are not satisfied. But I will sing of your power. I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning, for you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. To you, O oh my strength, I sing, for you are my defense and my merciful God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Hallelujah. A reading from Joshua chapter 9, beginning at verse 3. But when the inhabitants of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done to Jericho and to Ai, they on their part acted with cunning. They went and prepared provisions and took worn out sacks for their donkeys and wineskins, worn out and torn and mended, with worn out patched sandals on their feet and worn out clothes, and all their provisions were dry and moldy. They went to Joshua in the camp at Gilgal and said to him, to the Israelites, We have come from a far country, so now make a treaty with us. But the Israelites said to the Hevites, Perhaps you live among us. Then how can we make a treaty with you? They said to Joshua, We are your servants. And Joshua said to them, Who are you and where do you come from? And they said to him, Your servants have come from a very far country. 
because of the name of Yahweh your God, for we have heard a report of him, of all that he did in Egypt, and of all that he did to the two kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, King Sihon of Heshbon, and King Og of Bashan, who lived in Ashtoreth. So our elders and all the inhabitants of our country said to us, Take provisions in your hand for the journey. Go to meet them and say to them, We are your servants. Come now, make a treaty with us. Here is our bread. It was still warm when we took it from our houses as our food for the journey. On the day we set out to come to you. But see, now it is dry and moldy. These wineskins were new when we filled them, and see, they are burst. And these garments and sandals of ours are worn out from the very long journey. So the leaders partook of their provisions and did not ask direction from Yahweh. Joshua made peace with them, guaranteeing their lives by a treaty, and the leaders of the congregation swore an oath to them. But when three days had passed after they had made a treaty with them, they heard that they were their neighbors and were living among them. So the Israelites set out and reached their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gibeon, Chephirah, Beroth, and Kirath. But the Israelites did not attack them, because the leaders of the congregation had sworn to them by Yahweh, the God of Israel. Then all the congregation murmured against the leaders. But all the leaders said to all the congregation, We have sworn to them by the Most High, the God of Israel, and now we must not touch them. This is what we will do to them. We will let them live, so that wrath may not come upon us, because of the oath that we swore to them. The leaders said to them, Let them live, so they became hewers of wood and drawers of water for all the congregation, as the leaders had decided concerning them. Here ends the lesson. And let's offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, your praise is ever on our lips. Be our defender and refuge in times of evil. Deliver us from our enemies and guide us in paths of righteousness and peace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.